Okay, I have a couple of things that you're gonna need um, for the Cricut cutting machine. Um, there's a couple of uh, different kinds of foils that they have and they come in this roll. I bought the um, gold foils and they um, kind of a shiny material. There's also another company um, that sells these flat pre-cut ones that are 12 by 12, which fit really great onto the, um, the little adhesive mats. And these mats just hold this paper down. Um, the green one is a little stronger adhesive. The blue one's a little lighter adhesive. The blue is great for the ones that are not rolled up because they're laying flat. But um, this rolled vinyl is really <laughs> is a little... Uh, Difficult to get on here, but it's um, it needs the stronger adhesive mat to hold it down and keep it flat for the machine. Um, I'm also I also bought this um, shiny white vinyl um, that is um, by Oracle. Also the matte gold laminate um, is available from Oracle as well. But I bought these over at Michaels. I'm not sure where else they sell them. Um, so you may want to do a Google search and find these flat pre-cut pieces. Um, there is a little tool set that I bought from Cricut and it came um, in this like several pieces um, of tools. I haven't used all of them yet, but if you plan to use your Cricut for more things other than for laminating, um, you can buy this set. But what I use the most were I sometimes I used these little tweezer things. I definitely use this to get the um, pieces up off of the and separate them from my logo. And you definitely are going to need this little flattener to adhere to it. And this cutter comes in really handy for not only cutting these um, added laminate pe or sorry adhesive pieces, but also cutting your um, Heidi Swap foil for your card. So I used it for both this and this. So if you're using the roll cut, or the roll vinyl, you're going to have to put it through your cutter and pre-cut some 12 by 12 pieces. And I just got a straight edge ruler so that I can measure it and make sure that I am cutting exactly 12 or as close to 12 inches as possible across. So um, it lines up to the, about that line, so just grab a pen and just mark where that 12 inches is, and you can take the ruler out and slide it through, and you line it up with these, with these lines in the cutter. So you slide this through the cutter and line up this grid pattern with the guide on the on the cutter. Slide this down and slice it, and then I'm gonna set the rest of it aside. So now I have my gold. Adhesive foil. I'm going to remove this plastic covering from my mat and I'm just going to line it up to the zero point on the left hand side of that adhesive mat and push it down and make sure that it's nice and secure. All right, then I need to open up and turn on my Cricut and this is connected um, via USB to my computer and you have to use their online system to upload your artwork and I'm using a very simple logo that doesn't have a lot of detail in it and it has a lot of thick lines so it's a lot easier to cut. Some of those um, logos that have a lot of intricate detail are probably going to not be a great fit for this method. Um, so you might want to look into actually printing foil stickers, and I have not sourced those, so I'm not really sure where you'd get those printed. Um, I do know Miller's offers um, a sticker option. I don't know if they have foil ones, but it's an alternative. And then if you don't want to DIY it, you can always have the company that supplies these imprint your logo on there. So, so um, once you've <clears throat> loaded your paper and your foil adhesive into here, you just have to click on the arrow and Cricut has step-by-step -step instructions and lots of video tutorials for you to follow along. I just want to show you how I did it for my logo. So I'm going to feed that into there and I'm going to go to the computer and um, load my design. All right now that my um, artwork is loaded 
on the Cricut, this little C is going to start flashing to indicate that you need to press that and it'll start cutting. And once it's done, we just press the arrow and we'll move the pad out. And then you just take it and remove it and turn off your Cricut. So you just need to lift up this foil sheet and then slowly pull them away from the stickers. And you can just toss it in the trash. All right, now you're going to need to use this tool to separate the other pieces out of the logo. All right. Now you're going to have to use the tip of this to kind of get into those pieces to pull them apart. And just be careful that you're not lifting up a piece that actually needs to stay there. Move that away. And then this will leave a mark on your foil, so make sure you're getting the piece that you actually don't want there. You can also pick it up from the center. Everyone's logo is going to be different than mine, so just pay attention and be very careful and patient when you're doing this. and pull it away. Okay, and now I'm using um, some transfer tape that I got from Cricut and it comes in this roll and you can use that cutting board to cut out 12 inches um, and try to lay it over the entire um, sheet, but it's a little bit more difficult to do it this way. And I just wanted to do them individually, so what I did was I pre-cut um, some pieces, and I just followed the little guides that they have on these little, on these transfer tapes. And I just cut one that was about the size, exact size of the logo, and then you can cut a larger one to paint on the surface you're using. So once you separate that. Put it over the logo, nice and tight, and just take this little scraper and go across the logo to make sure it's adhering to the foil, and then you pull up a corner. Just have to work that in there, make sure you get all the pieces. And you can push down as hard as you want, and it's not really going to damage this plastic or the foil. So just be careful that there's no sharp edges on there. Let's try the other direction. There we go. And it pulled off nice and clean. That looks really good. Now I'm going to get my box, my gift card box. I'm going to make sure that I have the lid opening on the right side because I did when I was doing the trial and error I accidentally put it on the wrong side. So just make sure open it up, take your time and be patient and make sure you're doing this correctly. And I'm just going to center that as best I can and I'm just going to eye this and try to get it onto the box just um, perfectly. I'm using this uh, ribbon as a guide to make sure that I'm centering it and I'm going to center my logo with that. And I'm not trying to make it perfect but as good as a I possibly can. You could use a ruler and all sorts of things to make sure you get this on here perfectly, but I've been doing this a few times now and I think I'm getting it on there pretty precisely. So you're going to use your scraper again and make sure that 
you get that sticker to adhere and get all the bubbles out. And then you pull up the corner and very carefully take that transfer tape off. It shouldn't damage your box. This isn't very, very um, sticky. All right, it came on nice and clean. I think that looks really beautiful. And then you can put your gift card in there. And I uh, printed these gift cards through Moo, and right now they're only available in gold foil. Um, and I got four different um, backings put on, and I all have the same front, and I have them in 100, 250, and 500 increments. And I'm just going to put them, um, most of the, the gold side up. And you just can push down on this or even lift this box out because actually it separates from the box. I'll take that out so I can show you. See, it's just cardboard and there's like a little backing on there. You can push down a little, just a little bit just to separate this because you're going to be tucking the gift card right into this little spot. So I'm just going to slide this in. get it in there right it's nice and snug so that the card's not going to fall out of there all right and then you can put it back into the box close and tie it I flip it over so that when I make my bow it actually looks upright if I try to tie the bow the other direction it looks upside down okay and it fits really nicely inside these bags that I found on Amazon the bags are um, said that they were seven and a half, and the box is seven and, and a quarter, but they actually look exactly the same size, and they fit really nicely inside here. All right, now let's put our, our vinyl stickers on our bags. Now we're going to transfer, get some transfer tape and cut out a piece and fit them over the white vinyl stickers. I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors and. I'm about, you know, four or five, just giving myself a little extra room. Boxes across. And about four or five down. So just a five by five square. And again, you're going to separate the transfer adhesive from the backing. Okay, and then we're going to place it over the logo and use your scraper to make sure you're getting that logo to adhere to the transfer tape. Pull up a corner and pull back our logo and then we're gonna get the bags. And I'm putting my bags on the, the gift tag just in case somebody doesn't want um, to have the logo on there, they can always remove this. But you do have the option of putting your logo on here. And doing the text is a little bit more difficult. I don't know if you could see this here, but there's a lot of little pieces you have to take out of there. So this is something you have to really be a little bit more skilled at. And since I'm kind of new at this and I just wanted a subtle hint of my logo on here, I'm putting them on the tags. So again, I'm just going to eye this on the tag and just try to center it as best I can. That looks about right. And you're going to get the scraper and make sure that that's adhering to your tag. Okay, and then you pull up a corner. And this adhesive does not ruin my bags at all. And there you go. Now you have your logo on your bags. I love this. All right. Well, I hope that gives you some great ideas to start labeling your packaging, or you can also not DIY this and order them from the manufacturers or from the um, companies where you order your boxes and your bags from. Uh, many different companies offer imprinting on your bags, so this is just something if you want to DIY it, you don't want to wait for a shipment to come in for imprinting because you have a little bit of time, this is one way to do it.